Coming up on Cinema KC, we'll take you behind the scenes and behind an animator's computer, interviewing the hottest filmmakers in town. I'm Erin McGrain. And I'm Michelle Davidson. On today's show, we'll introduce you to filmmakers who can make a bazillion pixels dance on the screen. Did you just say bazillion? Oh, after this show, you'll remember that name. I'll take your word for it. Cinema KC starts now. Welcome to Cinema KC, your own personal film festival. Some of the brilliant minds at Bazillion Pictures are here with us today. Stephen Goldblatt, Jeff Beat, thank you so much for coming on the show today. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Now, one of your more recent projects involved projecting not onto a movie screen, but instead on the side of a large building, which was the beautiful Kaufman Center for the Performing Arts. And uh, we're going to take a look at some of that right now. So this is Projections. Okay.
just breathtaking. You made the building come to life. What was it like to uh, project onto a building of that size? Nothing like you've done before? Nothing like we've done before. <laughs> Nothing like that. We did a project on the Nelson um, last year, but this this was a different animal and really exciting project. How so, many projectors did you use? I think we had four major projectors that fit into a car. Yeah, uh, pretty big. To, for that kind of distance, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, did you get a chance to do a, a test run with this at all? Uh, we had a small test run. You know, were you nervous the night that it might not go? A little bit. It was raining a little bit, you know, here and there, and some of the projection was in the sky, and we were like, why is that happening? <laughs> um, but that was the rain. Cool, a nice effect. Yeah, <laughs> but we, it was a fantastic project to work on, and again, an incredible collaboration with Quixotic, who we've been working with for at least five years now, collaborating on all kinds of things. That was a, a great one, and it mixed all the things we love at Bazillion, which is motion graphics, animation, live action, everything together to create this unique experience. And Noel Sellers, who's been on our show as well, was the composer of the music for yeah. this mm -hmm. as well? For that yeah. piece, yeah. Tell us about that, creating, balancing music and projections. It's one of the most fun parts of the process, you know, the emotion comes through in the music and it, and that's truly, it really made the piece, you know. It was so many things coming together, but as we all know, with music and film, when it comes together, it's special. Well, you could tell by the reaction from the audience. You can hear a little bit on the film, but what was it like to be there? What was the reaction like? Uh, kind of crazy everybody went nuts yeah you could most of the audience was inside Bartle Hall like 1700 people and you could hear hear wow. it emanating from inside it was pretty wow. exciting yeah probably pretty special to be there that night I'm sure yeah. we'll have more with you guys after the break combining dance and film AMC Theaters is headquartered in Kansas City. They're leaders in the movie exhibition industry. AMC Theaters welcomes hundreds of millions of guests annually through its doors to escape into the magical reality of film for around two hours. You're watching Cinema KC. <laughs> Welcome back to Cinema KC. Now the key to creating true art is to combine all art forms. In this particular piece, you combine dance and film. Let's take a look at illumination. Now, dancers are used to working with music, but not 
projections and film. Did you add the graphics to their choreography or do they choreograph to your work? It's uh, both and this one was extensively uh, rehearsed back and forth and truly light or the projections, the animation became the dance partner. Mm -hmm. So it was a back and forth process until it was perfected. Do you like to collaborate with Quixotic? Oh, it's an incredible uh, outlet for us. We love the collaboration. It, it gives bazillion. It's, uh, you know, it's pushing the boundaries sort of arena. Tell you us know. your secrets with this, can you? The secrets? Yeah, behind. how you make it happen? It's actually pretty simple I and mean, it goes back. It's, you know, the actual technical aspect of it is that it's a scrim, which is a common you know, material mm -hmm. in the theater world that you can see through, and it's it's, it's an effective illusion, you wow. know, just using it like that. But the you know the principal folks, we have a team that works really tight. You know, and myself, Anthony Magnano, the you know the artistic director, Laura Jones, the dancer, and Tyler Keith was our main animator on that, and it we work really tight. And to this day, I think it's been a two years now. It's still one of the most popular pieces. Wow. Well, from Ballet to basketball. Bazillion does it all. Here's OMG. Just go lock the car. You can get your recording later. Quiet on the set, please. I'm trying to make a movie. Power and light. Love it. You see that? Oh, that's a great view. In the distance. No, what? look at that. What? Now, we had so much fun making this. It was my voice actually in there. We were standing on top of a building and the graphics work and it's funny. Were you happy with the results? Really happy with it, yeah. Right. Well, it was fun. Let's take a look at one of your other projects after the break, Beach Bum. Stay tuned. Have you ever wanted to write a screenplay? Before you type Fade In, you can join the Kansas City Screenwriters Group. They meet every Wednesday night at Harpo's in Westport. You're watching Cinema KC. Welcome back to Cinema KC. We're here with Jeff Beeth of Bazillion Pictures. Now, Jeff, we're going to take a look at an animated short film that you made. It's called Beach Bumps, The Gathering Storm. Oh, 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 oh. 
trouble. It's okay. I got gotcha. you. Oh. Oh. Clever, so Thank cute, you. very funny. A lot of fun. Now, Bazillion has a very definite animation style that I recognize when I see it, and um, a lot of bright colors and rich, mm -hmm. saturated colors, and, and the characters are so funny. And what other animators inspire you? Oh, we get a lot of inspiration from uh, Disney, sure. some of the older stuff, Tex Avery, Warner Brothers, and of course Pixar. I can definitely see the Tex Avery part because this one in particular didn't have any dialogue in it. Right, and right. Some of the other ones that you've worked on, like Farquharie Farms, did have a lot of actors in it, actually. Yourself included. Yes, well. And how is that different for the animators to work with actors as opposed to working with this, which was just music? Well, with Beach Bums, the, there's really no actors to for the animators to kind of work off of. Uh, with something like Farkleberry, we start with the actors, we'll record their voices, and then the animators are, are acting right along with, with that. So they really have something to play off of. They can hear the, the tones of the voices and, and work with those. Uh, when they don't have voices to work with, then they really have to kind of come up with that acting in their own head. And in this case, the music for Beach Bums, this was written by Noel Selders, is that yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. That's great. And uh, in something like that, really, the music's a, it's, its own character. And there's a lot of times where that really has to kind of help drive the story along. So. Yeah, it was fascinating. So cute. Well, we'll look forward to more. We'll be back with more Cinema KC. There are many people and organizations encouraging filmmakers to use the Kansas City area as a backdrop for their films, like KCK. For example, the Kansas Film Commission. You can find out more about the Kansas Film Commission at filmkansas.com. You're watching Cinema KC. Welcome back. These days, commercials display great storytelling to sell a product. And Bazillion has taken their 30 seconds and created some amazing visuals. Let's take a look. The legend lives. The fire-breathing, field-clearing power of DuPont prequel herbicide for corn. Unlike anything you've ever seen before, not even the toughest winter annuals, early spring grasses, or broadleaf weeds will survive. Advanced Burn Down Plus Residual Control. Release the beast. Count on Prequel for blazing weed control. Always read and follow label directions. 
The animation of the dragon literally takes your breath away. It's so amazing. There's so much detail. You really brought this three-dimensional character to life. How do you do it? This was a really special project for our studio because everybody participated in it. Everybody at our studio has, has their own things that they're just a little bit better at. Mm -hmm. And so everybody was all hands on deck and just working together on it as a team. And it was, it was a lot of fun to do. Are you inspired by nature? Is that how you find these? Yeah, quite a bit. We did a lot looks. of, in, in developing the dragon, uh, we looked at a lot of photographs of lizards and horny toads and, and all kinds of just different creatures that had scales and tried to pull from those to get that level of realism. It works. Now what's next for Brazilian? Oh, we have so many things going on. We have a multitude of things and that's what keeps us going. We're working on a 3D experience right now that has live action and animation blended together to be sort of like a ride film. And so that's... You do it all. We have fun. We try. Okay. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. And thank you for watching. We'll see you next time on Cinema Casey.